good morning welcome to the morning session yesterday and day before and last couple of days we've been talking about this question about happiness whether it is our innate nature or if it is an external influence and we said that this is important to know because when we are able to see this feel that this is our innate nature then we will try to make effort to ensure that happiness within us that it is our nature and how we do that is with right understanding in the self and right feeling and thought in the self so we would make effort for that but if we think that this is something to get from outside that happiness has to be gotten from outside then we keep trying for various methods for trying to get this happiness from outside so we try to get happiness through the taste of some pleasurable favorable sensation through the body through the sense organs of the body through the contact with the physical facility so we talked of eating tasty food whatever we find tasty and continuing to do that in order to continue that sensation we also try to keep getting this favorable feeling from other human beings so through whatever we are doing we try to see that the other person thinks well of us says nice things about us because somewhere we feel that this is going to make us happy so this way we keep paying attention to the outside and we may have been ignoring the inside but now that you know there is this question before us so even if we have not paid attention to the self earlier it doesn't matter we can start now like yesterday somebody was saying that we we are started so late doesn't matter the fact that we have started that is a very big thing otherwise we may have gone on for lifetimes the same way so again these are all proposals that you have to verify for yourself and we'll try to live according to it so this is important that we are not just going to be talking about it it's not a philosophy it's not a concept it is something real so we have to try to see it within ourselves and to try to see it within ourselves you have to live according to it in your interactions with other human beings in your work with nature right so we said what is happiness happiness is the state or situation in which i live if there is harmony or synergy in it then it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state or situation so one important point here is that there should be harmony in that state or situation so how would it be in my experience at least i should be able to see my state is there harmony in it how do i know there is harmony in it one is the features that are there is one is that i feel calm i feel comfortable the other one other point is that it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state i want to continue to be in that state i don't want to come out of it if you look at any of the ways we try to get happiness through sensation through feeling from the other it is you are dependent on 
either the physical facility or you are dependent on another human being. And so you can't really continue it. And we talked about you know, eating the sweet and so on. Like when you're trying to get happiness through the physical facility, you're trying to eat something that makes you, something that you find tasty that, you know, we think that this will give me happiness, so we eat it. That happiness, it can't continue. Even if you keep trying, at some point, you get fed up and you say, bus enough, I don't want more. So it's not a state that you can continue in. There is a dependency on the outside and you yourself don't want to continue in that state. So harmony or happiness is a state in which I am comfortable, I feel calm, I feel comfortable within and I can be in that state. I may not be able to be in that state right now, but I would want to continue to be in that state. I never want to come out of that state. On the other hand, unhappiness. So if there is disharmony in a state or situation in which I live, there is contradiction in it, then it is not naturally acceptable to me to be in that state or situation. But if I'm not able to come out of that situation, then it is like I'm forced to be in that state of disharmony or contradiction. And that is unhappiness. So unhappiness is disharmony. This we talked about. And we were looking at the sources of happiness and we said, these sources that we talked about, one, the right understanding and right feeling in the self. There, if we, if we get to right understanding and right feeling in the self, if we can ensure this, then we'll be able to ensure this continuity of happiness. It is possible. Here, there is some definite completion point. At some point, you know, we can reach and continue it. This would be a state of self-organization. That we are not, we are self-organized. We don't have to depend on somebody else for our state of happiness. We don't have to depend on the outside. We will still interact with others. We will still do things outside. But there is a very big difference now. Rather than doing things just to get happiness, we can be happy within and then do whatever we need to do outside. On the other hand, when we are trying to get this feeling from another person, it is temporary. We have to depend on the other person. There is no completion point and the continuity is not possible. So it is temporary excitement. Similarly, if we try to do this through the physical facility, like we said, through the sense organs, whatever sensation that I read from the body. If that physical facility contact is there, so long as that contact is there, I get the sensation. The moment the contact is removed, the sensation is also gone. So it is again very temporary. It is again that we are depending on the body and on some other physical facility. So continuity is not possible. This is also. So here you have no completion point. These are sources of temporary excitement. 
So you find that this is not really happiness. This is just temporary. What I thought may have been that I will get happiness, but when I get there and I try it, it doesn't give me happiness. So if you do that experiment and you do, you eat something that is pleasurable for you, that is nice tasting. So if you're hungry and you eat it, at that time it will seem necessary and it will be tasty. You keep eating it, you may still enjoy the taste, but once your stomach is full, it is no longer necessary. Now it becomes an unnecessary and it is going to harm the body. You keep eating still, then you find that it is not even feeling tasty now. And of course, it was already unnecessary. And then if somebody still makes you eat more, forces you to eat, it becomes intolerable. Now you don't even feel that pleasurable taste that you felt earlier. Similarly, receiving favorable feeling from others. If you're trying to get this attention, this appreciation from the others, how long can we have it in continuity? You can't have it in continuity. You're totally depending on the other person, their mood, how they feel at that time, whether they will give you this right feeling or not. And what if they themselves don't have the feeling to give you? Then we'll be with our begging bowl that please give me right feeling, please give me right feeling. And the other person doesn't have it, is not able to have that feeling within themselves, so they are not able to give it. So as long as that temporary excitement is there, I may feel satisfied, I may feel okay, I'm happy. But what happens when it is gone? Say this favorable, favorable feeling also. When the other doesn't give me that favorable feeling, then what happens? Now that happiness that I was getting from it is gone. And if I, so I keep trying to get this favorable feeling from the other, but if I don't get it, and there is no possibility of getting it, then I try to run away from that unhappiness. So I may be doing things like overeating. I may oversleep. Some people get into drinking, smoking, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, all of this. So this is not the answer for sure, isn't it? What can work is to go through that process of transformation the development of the self where we can have the right understanding and the right feeling within us. And there you can see the possibility of continuity. That is what we were referring to as human consciousness. So all this we discussed till now 